On today's episode, I want to take a closer look at AMD and NVIDIA, two of my favorite companies in the market right now, and just the overall tech sector as well. I want to say the past few days has been an amazing kind of time for tech investors especially those with those long-term mindset and hopefully we can continue to see that as kind of earnings progress but i also want to discuss a little bit of what could cause some form of short-term volatility especially on the bearish side if this is your first time here make sure to hit the thumbs up make sure to hit the subscribe button check out the pinned comment for a lot of great links my tech channel and also my discord channel so let's get started i do want to thank the motley fool for sponsoring this video and make sure to check out fool.com jose to get the top 10 stocks to buy right now so as i am recording today's episode we can see amd is up 2.7 percent and nvidia is up roughly 3.4 percent as i am recording for those that are new my name is jose naharo i'm a huge semiconductor investor especially due to my background masters in electrical engineering and also because of my overall work experience where i worked at companies that deal with emerging technologies so this is my favorite sector and these are two of my favorite companies so first i want to see what's causing stock price to go up if we take a closer look unfortunately today on july 20th of 2022 deutsche bank uh, reduced the price target for both amd and nvidia for nvidia they reduced the price target to 175 from 190 dollars they still maintain the hold rating and for amd they reduced the price target to 85 from 115 and very similar still maintain that hold rating so what are we seeing right now in the market that's causing a numerous analysts to kind of reduce the price targets for companies and the first thing i want to say remember these analysts they're looking at the price target for the next 12 months and in the next 12 months one of the biggest fears is consumer spending decreasing and both amd and nvidia have some form of consumer market exposure Sure. i want to say those price target reductions are negative news and wouldn't really be the reason we're seeing stock prices up right now i do believe one of the main reasons is the overall tech market and this is actually my favorite thing about investing is trying on to understand what is priced in yesterday we saw netflix report earnings right and previously i want to say netflix was priced to somewhat destruction it seems like the market was expecting a lot worse in their earnings netflix reported earnings after hours and even though they did lose subscribers it wasn't as bad as previously expected so while the market was pricing it for let's say near destruction it only was somewhat destruction so the market goes on and say hmm if we mispriced netflix what else have we mispriced and this is what kind of causes the overall sentiment in the stock market to continue to go up so we're seeing hey amd nvidia we might have priced this for complete destruction but it might not be the worst case now unfortunately it works the other way now i wonder if whatever's priced in at the moment is this being overconfident now is this still being underconfident or is this pretty much being the right amount of confidence and i do believe this is what causes a lot of the short-term volatility like i mentioned i think this is only important for investors that care about their performance in the short term of things but in the long term of things i don't think investors should really worry about what's priced in at the moment because companies like amd and nvidia i believe are going to do so well in the next five years due to the overall kind of emerging technologies that we're seeing right now another possible reason for our semiconductor stocks to be up right now is the overall movement of the chips act that's happening right now in the united states government i do talk a little bit about them in this episode so make sure to check that out and if you are curious to see what stocks i'm watching this week also make sure to click this video so i do expect volatility to maybe cool down a bit after we hear earnings from amd and nvidia the reason being is one they're going to tell us how well or how bad they did their earnings but more importantly how they're seeing the consumer market and also the data center market i do believe in semiconductors we are expecting a huge decrease in consumer market but we're also expecting a huge increase in data centers so there's a variable scenarios that could happen maybe the consumer market is not as weak as previously intended which could cause semiconductor prices to go up unfortunately maybe the data center market might be a lot weaker than expected and could cause stock prices to go down i do believe again this is only worrisome if you are a short-term investor but for me like a long-term investor this is just going to be noise at the end of the day and i'm happy to hold both these shares for those not familiar amd is expected to report earnings on tuesday august 2nd 2022 and nvidia has a nice amount of time they actually report earnings on august 24th 2022 so about a month from now so i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode take care have a good day and see you next time